And you're not done yet, folks. We've got more on the way. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Temperatures right around 60 degrees right now. The sustained winds, even though we were really high earlier, they backed off a bit. They're close to 20 miles per hour. They'll pick up a little bit later when this next trough swings through. Again, some of the peak gusts today over 60 at Gaviota Hills, Lompoc Hills, Point Arguello, San Luis Obispo, nearly 40, Santa Maria, nearly 50 miles per hour for a gust today. In terms of the rainfall we re received so far, half inch San Simeon and Cambria, a little more than that at Santa Margarita, Rocky Butte up in the hills along the north coast, more than two inches of rain, but a lot of lower totals. Templeton, a tenth of an inch, Morro Bay about three tenths, San Luis about four tenths, Santa Maria less than a tenth at the airport, Lompoc, Santa Barbara a little more than a tenth of an inch of rain, Napomo a little more than that, Pismo Beach nearly two tenths, Orchid a tenth, Shell Beach a tenth, Arroyo Grande about two tenths, and links to where you can get live updated rainfall available at KSBY.com. Here's a look at that big atmospheric river. It's still pointed at California. It's raining heavier to our north and south. We're kind of in the middle of the stream, though, so there's still plenty of supply. All we need is a disturbance. We're going to get that tonight. And there's another one on the way Friday, so still potential for another half inch to inch and a half additional rainfall with mountains and foothills, seeing an inch and a half to four inches of rain locally because of the atmospheric river and those winds into tomorrow afternoon, 20 to 35 with gust potential up to 50. So the high winds are still a concern with down trees. We saw that today. Heavy rain, I'd say medium because we're going to have that impulse tonight. And as I told you in first weather, for a period of time between, say, 5 and 10 o'clock tomorrow, cross slow and then into Santa Barbara County, we're going to see those rain rates pick up, which brings in a pretty minor risk, but not zero risk of debris flow. So there's no flood watch or anything like that yet, but we're kind of close on criteria. There are watches issued in Ventura and L.A. County for recent burn areas there. So again, the timing there, like I said, between say four and 10 o'clock, you can see this area of rain with pockets of more intense rain moving through the area. There is a slight chance of thunderstorms. It doesn't look as good on the modeling today, but again, the chances aren't zero. And then as we get into Thursday night and Friday, yet another disturbance passing in. And the models keep telling us that maybe even Saturday morning, another shot of showers before Saturday becomes essentially partly cloudy, but another system on the way Sunday. The larger picture here shows why we're worried about tomorrow morning, a trough and a cold front really kind of putting some squeeze on things. So wind advisories in place through three o'clock tomorrow afternoon and at higher elevations is a wind warning just because the gust potential and also the sustained potential is just a little bit higher there. Again, to the south and north, flash flood watches and mountain snows. And if you're traveling outside the area, get the very latest with the KSBY weather app. It has you covered. But the winds will start picking back up again. The modeling is showing that through the middle of the overnight. So be aware, a lot of folks this morning, trees coming down and a lot of things happening. Tomorrow's commute can be interesting. So 60 to 65 still for daytime highs. Why? Still in the subtropical air mass, but interesting as we get into Friday and the rest of the extended, we're going to be on the other side of this atmospheric river and temperatures, daytime highs will start to fall. So I was breaking down like just how many opportunities there are in the extended forecast. It's on and off until we get to Monday. And then, like I said, it may be a break two days before another system on the way Wednesday.